Hey folks, boy am I tired. Thankfully, I've got a viewer requested lesson for you today, so I don't have to think of anything. Uh, Cooper25 said, I'm working on a math problem and it only gave me the area of the square, no width or length. And it asks me, what's the length of the diagonal? Then he has a bunch of ominous skulls and says, Hold me. Okay, well, because you put it in such an intimidating manner, I'm here, we'll solve the problem, let's go through it together. Remember, the problem is we are given the area of a square. So let's go ahead and start with a drawing of our square, like any good geometry problem. We got our square, and we're given the area of the square. For this example, let's say the area of the square is 25. 25, the units don't matter. It could be square centimeters, square inches. I'm just going to write u squared, so 25 units squared, whatever the unit is doesn't matter. We want to find the length of the diagonal from this square given the area. The diagonal, of course, looks something, something like that. Now, immediately upon drawing the diagonal, just to start visualizing our problem, you should get some hint of how we can solve this problem. Remember that all of the angles in a square are right angles. So, of particular interest, this one here is a right angle. So by drawing this diagonal, we've just defined a right triangle. So then you might think, does a Pythagorean theorem, is that going to help us out here? And as it turns out, it will, as it often does. Now, the way your, your thought process might go to solve this problem is, okay, we've got the area of a square, we want to find the length of the diagonal. So do we know, uh, have we solved a similar problem with uh, the same unknown? The unknown being the length of the diagonal of a square. And one that might come to mind is a problem where we're given a side length of the square and we want to find the diagonal from that information. Of course, all of the sides of a square have the same length. So if this side is s, this side is also s. And look at that, to find the diagonal from this information, we just use the Pythagorean theorem. S squared plus S squared equals D squared. Bada bing, bada boom, there's your answer. So if we can get the side length of the square from the area, then we're back in familiar territory, a problem that we've all probably already done. So can we get the side length from the area? Of course we can, because the area of a square is just the square of its side length. So if the side length is S, the area is S squared. So in particular, we have that the, uh, we'll write this, s squared is equal to 25 units squared. And just take the square root of both sides, and that will give us our side length, and then we can go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem. So we have that the side length s is equal to the square root of 25 units squared, which is just 5 units. So then we can erase these s's. We know what s is equal to now. The side lengths of our square, Five. Remember, all the side lengths are the same, so they're all five. We could go ahead and throw a u in there. So it's five units, five units, and we just use the Pythagorean theorem. Remember, the Pythagorean theorem tells us that the sum of the squares of the legs of a right triangle is equal to the hypotenuse squared. So we've got that five units squared plus five units squared. This is all getting squared, five units squared, five units squared, is equal to the square of the hypotenuse, which is the diagonal in this case. Again, that's the sum of the squares of the legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Five units squared is 25 units squared. We already saw that up here. So 25 units squared plus 25 units squared, that's 50 units squared. And so we're almost done. We've got that 50 units squared is equal to d squared. Just take the square root of both sides here. And we've got that the diagonal, d, is equal to the square root of 50 units squared. So we could just write that as the square root of 50. And then the square root of units squared is units. So this is just the square root of 50 units. And that units is outside of the square root. And that is an exact answer. So if the area was 25 inches squared, then the diagonal is root 50 inches. And we could approximate this if we wanted to. It's about 7.07 .07 units. 
Just pausing here for a moment to point out that this same exact procedure would give us the same exact result if we were trying to find the other diagonal of the square, the one that goes the other way. All right, on to the rest of the lesson. So I want you to try this one on your own before watching the solution. Let's say we're given that the area of the square is 16, we'll say, we'll work with an actual unit this time, so say 16 centimeters squared. So go ahead, solve this problem just like we did before to find the diagonal of a square that has an area of 16 centimeters squared. All right, hopefully you've got an answer. Now, when I go through this problem, I'm going to leave out the units. Once you do a couple of these problems, you know that if you're given an area in centimeters squared, for example, your side length is gonna be in centimeters. If you're given your area in inches squared, your side length is going to be in inches, and so on. So we can leave off the units. We know what the units will be at the end. So how do we solve this problem? Same way we did before. The area is 16 centimeters squared, which is the square of the side length of the square. So then we just take the square root of both sides. Square root of that, square root of that, so leaving off our units, we have that the side length of the square is equal to the square root of 16. What's the square root of 16? Well, of course, that's four. So then we can go ahead and erase our s's over here. We know that the side lengths of this square are all four. Now we've got a right triangle with leg lengths of four. We just go ahead and apply our favorite Pythagorean theorem. That tells us that the sum of the squares of the leg lengths 4 squared plus 4 squared, that's the sum of the squares of the leg lengths, is equal to the diagonal squared, d squared, or the, the hypotenuse, which in this case is our diagonal that we're looking for. 4 squared plus 4 squared, that's 16 plus 16, and that is 32. So 4 squared plus 4 squared, 16 plus 16, that's 32, is equal to the diagonal squared. Take the square root of both sides, and we've got our answer. The length of the diagonal of the square is equal to the square root of 32. So since our area was given in centimeters squared, we know that this diagonal is the square root of 32 centimeters long. And if you approximated this square root, you would have got about 5.66 centimeters. And that's all there is to it. Given the area of a square, the square root of that is the side length of the square. Those are our legs of this right triangle. And then we just apply the Pythagorean theorem. Side length squared plus side length squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. And in this case, the hypotenuse is our diagonal. And of course, the answer falls out immediately from that. If you haven't seen a proof of the Pythagorean theorem by any chance, I'll leave a link in the description to a lesson where I prove the Pythagorean theorem. And uh, even if you're not big on the geometry and the proofs, I'm eating bugs the whole time, so you might find it a little bit more amusing. In any event, I hope this video helped you understand how to find the length of a diagonal from the square when given the area. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet.